Hi, Melissa Massant with Dave Thiener, the General Manager of FCI Aerospace here at the International Headquarters. Dave, there's quite a bit of buzz about your flow transmitters. What can you tell me about them? Well, thank you, Melissa. Fluid Components has uh, developed the flow sensor for liquid and gas service for use on aerospace applications. And we feature the thermal dispersion technology, which is a heated sensor uh, that uh, measures flow as a function of the cooling effect of the flow over the heated sensor against an unheated sensor. And what kind of outputs can we get? The uh, flow transmitters are available with analog outputs, which include uh, 0 to 5 volt, 0 to 10 volt, and milliamp outputs. And we also have uh, similar designs that are suitable for switch applications, where we use a sensor that can have an alarm as a function of uh, the flow rate passing a trip point. So with no moving parts, those are probably pretty effective. Yeah, one of the key features of the FCI products is its high reliability. The thermal dispersion technology does not use any moving parts, as you pointed out, and is capable of uh, high reliability service for 100,000 hours or longer. That's terrific. So you calibrate them here. Tell me about the temperature compensation. Well, one of the key challenges on any aircraft application is it can go from very cold temperatures, minus 40 degrees or lower, and it can go to very hot temperatures, often up to 250 degrees or higher. And so FCI's uh, electronics have a temperature compensation circuit, and our multi-million dollar lab allows us to set the sensor up as if it's on the aircraft and fully temper temperature compensated across the range of operation. That's terrific. Would it be possible to get switch points and a flow output? Yeah, in fact, uh, we have the ability to have uh, analog output and switch points, not only for flow, but also for temperature. So we can have a single sensor that can be equipped with two analog outputs, one for flow and one for temperature, or analog output and a switch output, either for flow or temperature. And do these devices have EMI protection? Yeah, one of the key applications that we get involved with now are in military service where EMI, RFI, and even lightning is a critical issue. These sensors are fully qualified for the highest level of uh, those sorts of tests. Both military and commercial qualification? Yeah, our business is about 50-50 as far as the uh, sensors that we manufacture. So we can handle applications on both commercial and military programs. Thanks, Dave. Looks like a great product. Thanks a lot, Melissa.